Intel's next unit of computing project is now in its third year, and ever since its inception in 2012, the company's idea of a powerful, albeit small, desktop has been slowly evolving over time. First sold by the company under their own name, Intel's now tapped local partners to sell the amazingly small desktops to consumers who are looking for an all-purpose machine that doesn't need a lot of space. In the Philippines, that local partner is PC Express, who sells the NUC system under their own Cobalt branding. The PC Express Cobalt line is composed of three SKUs, and today's review takes a look at the Cobalt mainstream. As its name suggests, it's the middle child of the Cobalt family and packs an Intel Core i3 processor along with 4GB of RAM and 500GB of storage. The actual NUC unit is surprisingly small, though it's still pretty chunky. The NUC model that PC Express sells uses a typical 500 gig hard drive, but overseas models have SSD drives that are, that are available and makes the unit even smaller. The NUC sports a solid metal chassis that's capable of protecting the inners from shocks and abuse, though that may be overkill as the NUC isn't really meant to be a traveling PC. Because the NUC is so small, you can pretty much cram it wherever you want, and VESA mounting screws along with a mounting plate allows you to stick it in a wall if you want to. There's a plethora of connections in the back which includes a mini display port, ethernet port, two USB ports, an HDMI port, and a power plug. Up front lies two more USB ports and a 3.5mm jack, while the power button is located on top. The mini display port is capable of supporting 8-channel digital audio, which gives you 7.1 surround sound, which is great for people who want to use a NUC as a home theater system. Wireless options abound as well, which include Wi-Fi and Bluetooth capabilities. Aside from the main unit, PC Express also supplies a wireless mouse and keyboard, as well as an 18.5-inch monitor in the Cobalt Mainstream package. Setting up the Cobalt Mainstream is ridiculously simple. Just plug in the adapters to the NUC, plug in the USB transmitter for the keyboard and mouse, connect the HDMI adapter to the NUC and to the display, power up the display, and you're ready to go. After doing all of that, all you need to do now is press the power button and voila, setup is complete. While the device isn't meant for gaming, it's still capable of running free-to-play games as well as previous generation 3D games as long as you turn down the graphics settings. Dota 2 is completely playable using the NUC, though 3D game Payday 2 felt sluggish and choppy when we tried it. The Cobalt Mainstream isn't a gaming platform, obviously, so you'll have to compromise on graphical fidelity if you want to run your games on it. The NUC is also capable of light editing using Sony Vegas 12, though rendering 720 HD videos does take longer than normal compared to our main rig. Rendering a short 40 second video took around 2 minutes, which should give you a good gauge on what the machine is capable of. In contrast, rendering the same 40 second video on our main rig takes around a minute and a half. While you can get a decent gaming rig for the price of the Cobalt Mainstream, it's not a machine that's meant for everyone. It's meant for people who have very specific use cases in mind. Someone who has limited space in a condo, for example, may find the compact dimensions of the Cobalt Mainstream attractive. It's also a great option for people looking for network storage that's smarter and more powerful than your typical NAS. And businesses can use a dual display capabilities and lower power consumption of the NUC in their stores as in-store displays. The PC Express Cobalt Mainstream retails for 28,995 pesos.